What's up, everybody? Blake Mackey back again with another episode of Corporate Liberation. How are we? How are we doing here in America as we strive for life as we push for the next paycheck as we hope for more stability as we experience the changing world we still must earn a living how are your numbers how are your funds How is your happiness with your employer, with the culture, with the job itself? Today's topic is don't let corporate America use you. Some of the most talented individuals go and work for these corporations I'm speaking to my young people now I'm speaking to the college grads I'm speaking to the high school grads the young people that are full of energy that don't have the resources because they're young and their parents didn't give them everything Now these people are passionate and they need to work. So they go to work for these organizations, corporations. We politic through, we get what we can, we graduate, we push, we see people get cut out, we see injustices, we witness it, we visualize it, we swallow it, we keep going, we keep our head up. We keep our head down. We hope it's not us next. We get what we can. We strive. Very rarely we see people that will stop and stick their neck on the line for you and come to your defense and make sure you don't get X'd. But for the most of for the For the most part, as we grow through these organizations, we see people attempting to not get cut out. Cancel culture is alive in corporate America. We talk like it's just with the celebrities. No, it's with everybody. It's with anyone in a professional setting don't get canceled so but the point of this video again is to just shed light on to these young folks that are going into these jobs corporations don't get used and what I mean by that is say you're 22 years old you have a bachelor's degree from Penn State I don't know USC you have a bachelor's degree and you work for a company for five years you go through the ups and downs then the company decides to Lay off all his employees, including yourself. That's how you get used. That's how you get used by corporate. So to, to avoid that, how do you not, how does that, you know, but you can't avoid a layoff. You can't avoid 
a messed up situation so how do you not get used check out my book short read amazon click the link below i won't go into everything but what you need to do is do something for yourself while working at that job at the age of 22 23 24 25 26 buy a house after two years you can buy a house if your credit's decent enough fix your credit hustle you got the job you're working from home side hustle it too you can buy a house so buy stocks hell buy a life insurance policy buy 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 invest start your business do what you want to do to further yourself other than hoping for that promotion in that organization in that internal structure that is so fragile don't never put your hope and faith in corporate america go back and check my videos i have a video on it where i go into detail why you should never put your hope and faith in corporate america check it out but for now just warning the younger generations don't let these corporations use you they use your skills they hire our brightest they hire our most gifted our most organized our most talented they take them in and they use them and they lay them off at the ripe old age of 31 therefore you have 10 years you have 10 years with this company and now what are you going to do with it i'm not talking about the lifers and the people that third generation harvard grad kids i'm not talking about you guys i'm talking about the first generation grad kids that went to the good school that graduated that got the degree that got the great job that snuck in by the skin of their teeth but got there and got it done now you're on the level that you should be at don't let this job be your ultimate you don't do not do not put your identity in your corporate job because it is very volatile and you are you are in fact putting all your eggs in that basket if you do so there is success keep it moving but if you're in a working position if you're not if you haven't hit the mainstream if you haven't hit the the the, the social the uh, financial market that where you should be and you're happy and, you, and you, you're still struggling keep it moving don't sit in one place and expect someone to open a position for you ahead of you and say oh I'm, I've been with Stellcore for six years and I brought them two million dollars guess what 24 year old graduate they don't care you just don't understand that yet because you are too busy busting your ass for the man getting paid for the first time in your life and you're doing a damn good job you're setting records because you're great you're organized you give a person the ball in the game they're gonna play and they're gonna play well that's what they're doing to our youth that's what they're doing to our best that's what they're doing to you they're letting you run that race you're so talented you want to prove it you'll have this report done in two minutes I'll do this presentation with the clients and have them sign in on the dotted line tomorrow that's what you do you're great 
just want to warn you they don't care you will be axed you will be the first to be axed so have your plan b and that is doing for self don't let corporate america use you i cannot say it i cannot say it enough i'm pleading to our youth to pay attention listen you see the culture around you can you speak your mind without fear can you speak your mind on social platforms without fear why not fear of losing approval whose approval your bosses your company don't want to be on the outside looking in this month you still got christmas presents to buy are you afraid to speak your mind at your corporation chances are the answer is yes chances are you have a different personality to at work and as you do away from work at least topics of conversation everyone does what are they talking about when it comes to social issues what is your coworkers talking about at home would you want to hear those conversations but we're trying to survive in a corporate office that holds different feelings toward you and no matter what you do and how hard you work and how f- high you fly those feelings are going to come to the table and they're going to act on those powers because they're addicted to the power the power they want to keep now youngins get out there work hard get promoted but change the culture from within make a stand make a stance represent your true self don't be so afraid push the envelope make suggestions that will make a difference for your people and yourself if you're in education do that create a program that's beneficial for your organization Use your voice. Don't be afraid. But remember the cancel culture you're against. It's almost impossible to speak your voice in a corporation that doesn't allow truth. So, ladies and gents, go get them. Make that money, get that job, but then be ready. If you got in by the skin of your teeth, you may be out soon. Especially if they figure out how real you are. No one likes to see Michael Jordan compete against Michael Jordan at their office. No one wants to compete against Kobe Bryant at their office. That's why they've been rejected. That's why they didn't want you. That's why the other bigger corporations turned you down. They were afraid of you, who you are. You're a talented person. Remember that they're always going to be haters. So don't feel rejected when you don't fit in the in crowd at your job. No, you got your own in crowd. It's you. You are the fountain wherever you stand. Abundance flows. So, goal don't let corporate America use you. Have foresight. 
see what's the, what's coming around the the bend. Don't stress 10 minutes for a company that is not going to exist in 10 years. I'll say that again. Do not stress for 10 minutes for a company that will not even exist in 10 years. It happens all the time. They didn't promote me. They're going to be shutting up doors in 10 years anyway. But you bought three houses in that time. Good job. You're a hustling son of a... I see you. All right now. I hope everyone's doing well. Just wanted to get that PSA out there. Reminder. Urgent call. Wake up. All my grads. All my college grads. Working for these jobs. Don't let them use you. I beg and I beg of you. Don't let them use you. Don't hit 33, have bad credit and not own a damn thing, and let these motherfuckers lay you off. You have something. Because that's what they do. It's clockwork. It's clockwork. They feed off the youth. That's why they send us, that's why they send the youth to war. You got you guys are the most athletic at the, at this moment in your life. You don't have back problems. Get out there and get shot. That's how they think. So don't let these corporations use you. Don't let the military use you. Do for self. If it doesn't change with you, the the cycle will repeat itself. Blake Mackey, Corporate Liberation. Thank you for listening.